Use multiplication, addition, or subtraction to solve multi-step word problems. Let's take a moment to read this problem together. Keith has saved his allowance, $25 per week, for the past six weeks. He spends $35 on a video game and $17 to go to the movies. How much does he have left? Well, let's first think about how much it is that he has after six weeks. So for each of the weeks that he's saving his allowance, he is has 25, right? And how many 25s are we looking at? Let's draw a picture to represent that. That's how many so far? That's four weeks, that's five weeks, and that is six weeks there, six weeks of 25. And then we can also write an expression for this here. This is six times 25 for the amount that he has saved from his allowance. And then, so that's the amount he pays. Now, how much does he spend? Let's see, he spends this amount here, where it is that he spends $35 on the video game, and then he also spends 17 more for going to the movies. And then, so this is the amount that he spends, 35 with 17. So it's 35 plus 17. And then, so if we go 35 plus 17, that does give us $52 is the amount that he spent. Now our question mark, or what we're solving for, is this amount right here, which is the amount that Keith will have left after he spends the money. And then so let's go ahead and figure out six times 25 first. Let's rewrite it. It'll be 25 times six. Six times five is 30. Zero, regroup the three. Six times the two is 12. Plus three is 15, so that is 150. So he has saved $150 from his six weeks worth of allowance. He spends 52. So we go 150, what? Did you say subtract 52? We have $98. And then so, expressing that clearly, Keith has $98 left. And this is after he spends $35 on a video game and $17 to go to the movies. So as we're looking through this problem, we carefully read that, typically twice, Draw that picture, show our work, and of course, make sure to express our answer clearly. Does this make sense? Let's see if he has $98 left. Okay, well, $98 can't be the more than the amount that he saved, so that makes sense. And we are showing that he spent the $52. Here is another problem. Tris weighed seven pounds when she was born. By age two, she weighed four times as much. By her third birthday, she had gained 10 more pounds. At this time, her father weighed five times as much. What was their combined weight? Let's think about who it is that we're talking about here. We're talking about two people. We're talking about Triss, and we're also talking about the father. What are we talking about? Well, we're talking about their weight. So let's model that problem. We'll model Triss's weight first. See, it starts, it says that Triss seven pounds when she's born. All right, so there she is when she's born weighing seven pounds. By age two, she weighed four times as much. Well, four times as much as seven. Or how many sevens? Right, four of them. And then so by age two, 
This is how much she weighed. Four sevens, or four times seven, which is, let's see, that's 28. Next, it says by her third birthday, okay, so now she's one more year older, but she's gained how much more pounds? She's actually gained 10 more pounds. So we have Tris here, then, 28 and 10, which is 38. All right, so Trish weighs 38 pounds. So I've used all of these things right here so far. Seven pounds born, see, four times as much by age two. That's why there's four sevens there. And then third birthday, where she gained 10 more pounds. And then four times seven is 28, plus 10 is 38. Okay. Next, it says, at this time, her father weighed five times as much. All right, so when Tris is 38, then the father is five times as much as 38. So we have 38 put together five times. So we'll go ahead and draw that out. And what we're actually trying to figure out, it says, what was their combined weight? Or how much did they weigh together? Tris and her father weighed blank pounds. So the part of the problem that we haven't figured out yet, there's a couple of them really, is the father's weight. That's 38 times what? Well, it's times 5. So 38 times 5, let's figure that out. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 3 is 15. Plus 4 is 19. So her father weighs 190 pounds. She weighs 38. And what do I do with those two numbers? Well, I'm looking for their combined weight. So if I'm looking for their combined weight, that's why it is that I have the bracket there. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I put them together. So I have 190 with 38, and that's adding 38 there then. In doing so, I get 228, or 228 pounds. So her father and her weigh 228 pounds. Be careful to express your answer clearly, which also includes that label. One of the keys in solving these multi-step word problems is to draw a proper model. And then so we're thinking about our bar models, our tape diagrams, where it is that we're breaking apart those different parts of the problem, and really think about how it is and what sort of steps that we would take to be able to solve each of those problems. The other thing to really consider when it is that you are working through these problems is to express your answer clearly. Meaning, let's write a focused answer back on out, making sure to label our answers, right? And it would also be a very good idea to check your work. Think if you are answering the right problem the correct problem. Think whether or not you're using all that information that is given to you. And then we talk about checking the reasonableness, whether or not your answer is actually reasonable. So there's a lot to consider when it is that you are looking at word problems, and this is something that we will continue to work on and continue to think about.